guys welcome it's a phonics again um, our last tutorial we discussed about how to use oscilloscope in Proteus 8.12 so today we are going to look at one of the most aspect of aspects one of the most aspect of Proteus 8 which is the visual designer most of us don't use this all the time we don't use it often like, but it's very an interesting thing if you have if you don't have arduino installed in your if you don't have the the arduino library purchase 8 or the recent purchase which is purchase 8.12 has an embedded um Arduino library and also Raspberry Pi library into it so you can use it using the visual designer or Proteus developer so how can we do that hit on to new project mind you I am using Proteus 8.12 if you haven't installed Proteus 8.12 yet just check in the description below you will see a link which will drive you to a video that will show you step by step on how to install Proteus 8.12 and also include the new libraries and other sensors into Proteus 8.12 so let us go to our new project uh, see visual this is our visual design okay you can use this one so click on new project make sure this is ticked say next then we go to default it's a i create if you want to create um the schematic not only we want to create schematic from selected template that is this default yes next okay from here it says do not create pcb if you want to switch to pcb it would be very easy you just have to click pcb then you go to pcb layout from schematic layout so we will not be doing pcb today so let us go straight next now when you reach at this point what we are going to create is to create flow chart project this one is just drag and drop no need to create to design or develop or to write a code so you just have to click on this one create flowchart and the family you'll be using either use raspberry pi or you use arduino so we will be using arduino family and the type of arduino available you see here you have mega nano uno all of them right so we are going to use uno Okay. so the compiler is going to be visual designer for arduino this that is the compiler we are going to use because it's the one available for now so you just click next so we'll be creating all this okay next finish okay here we have the schematic layout and then we have the vsm which is the visual designer so this part will appear see a nice looking platform it is called visual designer okay and here you have the properties that this is the arduino uno and then these are the box that is you see these are the box that you use as it can be for loop it can be um this like you can use these blocks to serve as a code instead of writing the code manually so you just have to drag each any of these box and then put it in the loop we know that arduino program let me highlight this okay let me highlight this so that you can see so in arduino we know that we have the setup loop and it ends and then we have we have the setup loop and then we have the void loop this one will run continuously and this one will run once okay so let's take this one here so okay good so using these blocks like we have this block which is event block and then this one is end block that means start from here and then it ends here then we have this one assignment when you want to give out like to print a message you use this one and then 
we have this subroutine call if you want to call from a subroutine using this one and then this one is stored data block we have this one the input and output peripheral operations then we have time delay this one is to make a delay and then this decision box is called like decision block which will be used to like if you want to use if condition so you'll be using that one and this one is a loop construction we have how to construct a loop like moving from one loop to an if loop while loop and for loop so on and so forth and then here is interconnector and if you want to put comment you just have to click on this one this abc is for comment so now let us hook up our first program which would be to blink an led using just drag and drop and then we set everything so how can we do that you go to schematic capture from schematic capture you go to file from file you say import project clip you click on this it will give you option we have for raspberry pi we have for groove and then we have for arduino so let us use arduino double click when you double click you can search for what you want to use but you have various things that you can use here all right we have sd card okay we have for moto okay out moto shield we have for led we have for keep keypad shield so on and so forth we have for like lcd display and so, so on and so forth so we just have to we will be using led so let us use an led breakout okay so which one should we take mm, let's go for green okay just click open now it will be open then you just have to put it any part of the circuit you want you can drag by using that highlight and then you move it to any area of the circuit you want it to be okay now it is here no need to touch here it has been connected here one thing we have to look into is also is this one you see the arduino that we know this arduino let me search for it here Go for Uno. Okay. You see, this Arduino is exactly like this. This is the reset pin. When you click on this one, it will reset the whole Arduino. Okay. Just like this Arduino, I think the physical one at this, but this corner here you will find a red or some kind of button that you will press and it will reset the arduino okay see the analog pin and then we have the digital pin likewise this one also it has all the pins so this set is arduino the it's called arduino 328 okay so it's the same like this one okay they do the same function so let's remove this delete block okay so here is our selected led that we've taken directly so we'll be going to this visual designer to do the program okay come to visual designer let us use our setup look and if we look down here the peripherals you will see that led is already here you see led one arduino led okay so we just have to click and uh things that you could do with this led either you put it on off you set it or you dim it or toggle toggle means it comes on and off on and off right so if we use first in the beginning you just have to make sure that you put off your 
the the LED are the first because that's how we want it to start so that we can visualize it. So you just have to click and drag it to this box. Make sure that it is in line with this loop. That is the setup loop. So it's going to be off for some time. Okay. Now we come to the toggling. Okay. Let us use on. So after some time in the void setup, let it be on. Okay. So with this, you are now you've set. It will be off for this for some time. Then from there, it will come on. So we build it by clicking on it here build say build project say yes now if you look down here it is compiling what we've made from this point okay it say compile successfully okay now let us hit on this play button so if you click on the play button now we can see our led here it is on okay now let us go to schematic view you see our led is on right it is on good that's good as you can see it is on if we want to reset it you click on it it's it to go that is it has been reset then it's working again so we come to the visual design again let us stop the play button so now we have put it for it on but we want it to um like this for it to dim now let us remove this one delete now let us put let us not determine in a way that it will blink for some time and then it is off for some time okay so let us put on okay so it means it is on so we made it to be on for some time so by putting on a delay in order to put on delay is by clicking on this box which says delay time delay so you write you click on it and then you drag it here that is the delay we can by double clicking on it we can edit it the time you want it to either in seconds milliseconds or microseconds okay but in this case it is in milliseconds okay so you can even put the amount of the delay could be 100 milliseconds or 1000 milliseconds let us say it is on for 100 milliseconds so okay now it has to go off for some time you click on the off drag it here and then you can put click on this time delay box you bring it here so it will go off it will be on for 100 milliseconds and then go off let us put decrease the go the off time which could be 50 milliseconds click ok then you run this program then it will be compiling boom as we can see our led here let us come to the schematic view as you see this is our led it is on for some time you know the off time is less than the on time okay the on time is greater than the le the off time so you see it is blinking so you can change or you can change the time and duration by just stop by just playing with this uh um this delay here how simple it is you just have to drag and drop it in this flow chart okay by using flow chart instead of writing the program you are going to do this dragging and dropping into the flow chart then compile it and then put it in you test it in your schematic capture now what if you want to upload this code what you've written here 
what if you want to upload it into your board into your arduino board so let us do that it's just by make sure that this part is clicked to debug and then here it is to upload okay we've built it and then we just have to upload make sure that your computer is connect your arduino board is connected yes i've connected mine then from there you just hit on this yellow icon which is project setting from project setting you can you can select the port where the arduino is being connected to here is the port mine is connected at com6 so click on com6 here look at it arduino uno is connected to com6 and then this arduino i'm talking about is connected to com6 so everything is okay so i just have to click okay then click on this ic icon if not you just come to bill from bill just look at it here upload okay or my keyboard lovers those are lovers of keyboard shortcut you just have to click ctrl f uh, f8 ctrl f8 will upload it so let us click here and give it time for it to compile and then upload it now let us look at our arduino board here clearly let us look at it boom as we can see see the arduino blinked and here it is farm upload completed so it is already now in the board so it it would be executed as it is from this flow chart so guys this is how you go about in making this drag and drop instead of writing a code you just have to write drag and drop so in the subsequent subsequent videos or in the other videos that will be coming we'll be playing with some of these ones that is decision box we can even make some thing like um temperature sensors and other sensors just using this um, visual designer okay so this is what i have for you today if you haven't if you haven't subscribed to our phone yet so kindly smash the red button and subscribe to our phone make sure that you don't forget the red the bell click on the bell so that when a new video is being posted you will get the alert Okay guys, thank you for watching this video.